Okay. Well, I'm a geologist first, so I'm interested in uh, using computers to tell me interesting things about what's going on underneath the surface. Um, but I'm also a specialist in um, remote sensing, so I'm using satellite images to uh, firstly tell me what's on the surface. Um, uh, from the small amount of reflectance, I can tell you something about the, the chemistry of the, of the top 30 microns of the surface of the Earth, obviously where rocks are exposed. I guess you would call it spatial modelling. Mm -hmm. And I'm um, using these digital satellite images to make maps, to make interpretations. I spend some time at my desk um, modeling uh, the satellite images using algorithms and models which I apply to the digital numbers and the images and I produce some results and then I want to go into the field and check them. The computer saves me lots of time and then the end product is something which will guide other geologists in the field to save them an awful lot of time because the field work is expensive. So that's sort of the driving force behind a lot of what I do. A lot of the remote sensing that we do here has come from uh, instruments which were developed to look at Mars and the Moon and other, and other places. Um, Jupiter, or Io particularly, it's very rocky and exciting. Um, so, in, you know, Mars is in, in everybody's uh, view at the moment because of uh, the Curiosity rover, which is driving around, finding exciting things, and we're learning about uh, about other planets and the, the surface process and, and the processes that are going on subsurface. So we're using our knowledge of what we see here to help interpret those images and then we're developing tools from over there and helping us over here. So the whole thing is, is uh, working in both directions. Uh, I, yeah, I wanted to be a geologist from a very early age, that was, that was set, uh, and I discovered, uh, I sort of fell into making digital maps quite by accident, and then I discovered remote sensing and came to London and uh, studied some more, uh, and that's kind of how it happened, so it sort of evolved really, it certainly wasn't planned. I would tell myself to um, learn to program uh, at a much earlier age than I discovered it. I would probably try not to get so angry with my father who was a maths teacher um, and I would listen to him more than I did, <laughs> okay. uh, I think, probably. Yeah, and I'd say have more confidence, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the thing when, you know, particularly for women, I think just have more confidence and go for it.